Here we have a super pastel yellow belly banana puzzle. What's going on YouTube? Will back with Royal Canadian Reptiles. This week, uh, we're gonna take a look at some het puzzles, some stuff in the puzzle project. As you guys know, I absolutely love the project. I can't wait to see what's going on. And I've been getting a lot of requests to show some puzzle stuff. Now, I don't have that many visual puzzles to show you, but I do have quite a selection of hets. So we're gonna take a look at some het puzzles today. Uh, we're gonna look at, you know, some of the stuff that we're holding back, stuff from 2019, maybe some stuff from 2018. Um, you know, obviously we're breeding a whole bunch of puzzle stuff this year, so it's very, very exciting. But I'm just going to give you guys sort of a glimpse into the future as to what we're sort of, uh, you know, what we want to play with in puzzle, see what we can do with it. So we're going to take a look at some het puzzles and let's get right to it. Alright guys, so if you guys watched the, uh, the video I did where I showed my favorite codoms, uh, Phantom was definitely at the top of that list. Let's see if I can just get the ball up a little. So this is a Phantom 100% Het for Puzzle. Really think that, uh, you know, we obviously saw the Mojave Puzzle this season and a couple seasons prior, and it was just an absolutely outstanding snake. I think that, uh, that well, obviously Phantom and Mojave are quite similar, um, but I, I just think that the Phantom may add a level of darkness that we, we haven't seen in the, the Mojave Puzzle that's sort of complex. Puzzle seems to work really, really well with the leucistic complexes, so like your Butter, Lesser, Mojave. I, I throw Phantom in that as well, even though the Super is not a leucistic, but it, uh, it acts very similarly. So we're going to start off just here with a, just a basic Phantom Het Puzzle. Uh, most of these that I'm going to show you are females, just stuff that we're growing up. Uh, you know, just start to, start to play the game, you know? Look at the pattern on this Phantom, though. Awesome. So that's your Phantom Het Puzzle. Staying with that, um, that theme of the leucistic complex stuff, here we've got a pastel Mojave puzzle. Just really, really pretty animal. Really like it. I, you know, this is a very basic, very, we're getting into very, very basic stuff right now. Um, but I just think that this is, uh, you know, having one of these girls on the shelf uh, will really, really help going forwards. So that's a... Uh, Pastel, or yeah, Pastel Mojave, 100% Het Puzzle. Now, sticking with the, um, sticking with the theme of the leucistic complex stuff, here we've got a Phantom Pastel Pinstripe, 100% Het Puzzle. Now, I saw the Pinstripe Puzzle, and I was not that, that impressed with it. There, I've seen some recently that look pretty cool, but Pinstripe seems to dominate it quite a bit. But... The leucistic complex stuff works really, really well with it. So I'm really curious to see what we can get if we get into like phantom, phantom pinstripe uh, puzzles, past the, like lemon phantom lemon blast puzzle. See if the the pinstripe is fighting the you know, the leucistic complex in the animal, and see if we can get a uh, you know some pattern alteration there. I think we're going to. I don't think uh, you know. If you, if you just see one combo and you say, oh, that's it, it doesn't do anything, uh, I think you're being super short-sighted. Uh, you need to take a look at the future. Really what we do here is combo stuff up. So uh, just because one combo doesn't work doesn't mean that there's going to be, you know, a hundred others that don't. So that is a uh, Phantom Lemon Blast 100% Het Puzzle. Here we move on to uh, a little bit more, eh, it's not that, not that complicated. Um, I suspect there's something else going on with this animal. So this is a uh, this is a super pastel special, 100% het puzzle. Uh, now its mother was produced by Billy um, from Mutation Creation. There, it was produced by Billy, and I believe that she is uh, het monsoon. And this female pastel special has been throwing really, really, really funky stuff for about six years now. And this is including, this would be one of them that I would say is definitely funky. Now, could this be the Het Puzzle influence? Absolutely. Could it be the Monsoon influence? Absolutely. Uh, we, we should have the answer whether or not she's Het Monsoon coming up here in a couple of months. Um, but for the time being, I have this labeled as a pastel special, super pastel special, 100% Het Puzzle. However, I do suspect that this is going to be Het Monsoon as well. So... 
there's another pastel, I sold another pastel special 100% uh, hat puzzle and it was not even close to this weird. See all the dotting going on along the sides? Puzzle hats, I do not see that very primarily, I don't see that often. And uh, this is just a really funky snake. So anyways, right now it's a super pastel special 100% hat puzzle. So here we're going to move on to a little bit more complicated. And we're getting into some double hat stuff now. This is a uh, pastel Enchi chocolate double hat desert ghost puzzle. As you can see, it's a lot darker than a pastel Enchi. I find that the chocolate Enchis have this weird, like almost like a lion or like a scream face head stamp. Um, just really cool. I Obviously we hatched the, uh, the desert ghost puzzle this year and I can't wait to get some darker influence into it. Um, again, Enchi was another one in puzzle that people thought, eh, it didn't really do much, but you know, there is so much stuff that makes Enchi on its own create some really crazy patterns. So I, I don't see why it won't translate over to puzzle as well. Let's see if we can get some really like, you know, just unique different patterns going on. But anyway, this is a pastel chocolate Enchi double hat desert ghost puzzle. Here's a little girl I've been trying to produce for what seems like forever now. And this is really, really simple. This is just a pastel double hat puzzle pied. Uh, however, I have gotten awful luck on the lavender double hats and the pied double hats. Like absolutely the worst luck you could get. I'm talking like you're getting clutches full of males, uh, you know, bad eggs, stuff just, it's just been a real grind to finally have the double hat puzzle pieds. I know Corey Woods is, uh, has taken a shot at the puzzle pied. I don't believe he's hit it yet, but I, I sure hope he hits it this year because I'm really curious to see what that does. But that's just a, uh, just a pastel double hat puzzle pied. And here we move on to the other one that I could not seem to hit forever. This is a double hat uh, puzzle lavender. So this is a pastel double hat puzzle lav. Really, really pretty. I find that lavender hats seem to be a little bit brighter. So this is just it's quite a bit brighter than the uh, than the double hat puzzle pied. So I'm wondering how that would go. I know Corey also did hit the puzzle lavender this year, and it's insane. It did not look that great right out of the egg. But man, I saw it at a show at about this size, and holy smokes, it glows. So I can't wait to start playing with the, uh, the lavender puzzle stuff. I think it's going to be really cool. You're going to get a ton of pattern manipulation in lavender, and that's sort of what we look for in the lavender project is just, you know, lots of, uh, lots of pattern manipulation, changing what it looks like. You know, that's the, that's the exciting part, right? Seeing something that's never, seeing a look that we haven't seen before. So that's just a, uh, that's a pastel double hat lavender puzzle. I'm sure you guys can guess what this is. That's a pastel red stripe, 100% hat puzzle. Looking forward to seeing the red stripe puzzle stuff. Um, it was just, you know, as soon as we saw what red stripe did in clown, we were like, oh, okay, let's get it into puzzle, see what happens. Um, not, a lot of people say puzzle hats do some really funky patterns. I guess like that in there, that's pretty funky and this stuff. But I, I see them as very, I, I wouldn't I wouldn't see a puzzle hat and say like, oh, that's 100% going to prove. I, I haven't had that sort of really craziness in the pattern. I think, uh, I think Red Stripe, I think one of the things that Puzzle thrives off of is going to be blushing. And I think as you get into like, you know, the Firefly Red Stripes, the OD Fire Red Stripes, you're going to start to get some really cool blushing, especially in Puzzle. And uh, we're really excited to have this girl on the shelf and start to grow her up. So that's a Pastel Red Stripe, 100% Hat Puzzle. Now here we move on to what I believe is a Pastel Mojave Blackhead, 100% Hat Puzzle. This is a nice little girl. She's quite a bit different from her brother. Um, I'll just try to zoom the camera out and show you her versus her brother. Look at the size difference. They do not all grow the same. Look at the size difference here. This guy took off right out of the gate. This girl was a little bit of a slower start, but she's doing great now. So that is what I'm th saying is this is definitely a pastel Mojave blackhead, but I believe that this guy has the ringer and the red gene involved in him. And I think this girl is missing one of the two. I'm not sure which one. I'm maybe both. Either way, really cool snake. I, I'm confident this has blackhead. I know it's not just a pastel Mojave. It's not just a, uh, it could be just a pastel blackhead, I suppose, but it doesn't, it, it, it just has that Mojave look to me. Let me know. Comment below. What do you guys think? It's a, uh, this is from a pastel 
pastel puzzle bred to a blackhead Mojave. So I, I'm pretty confident that that's a pastel blackhead Mojave. And then, whoa, chill, buddy. And then this guy is 100% pastel blackhead Mojave, but I believe that this has the, the red and the ringer gene. So anyways, this is, a, uh, this is a male and that's a female, both what I believe are pastel blackhead Mojave 100% hep puzzles. I think this is going to be a really cool direction, especially with the Mojave puzzle, seeing, uh, seeing how cool that was. And if we can add a, some darkness to it, then uh, I think we're going to get into some really cool looking stuff. Here's a pastel orange dream 100% hep puzzle. It's super bright. Unfortunately, it's right smack dab in the middle of a shed. See those blue eyes? But that's a, uh, this is a pastel orange dream 100% hep puzzle. Uh, really looking forward to seeing the uh, the OD puzzles. I know Ozzy's doing some wicked, wicked work with that. If you guys aren't following Ozzy, I don't know why, uh, but definitely, definitely go check him out. Uh, it's Ozzy Boyd. He's, you know, a pioneer in the industry. So this is a pastel orange dream puzzle. Um, I know a lot of people don't like pastel and OD together, but I really, really dig this one. This is an A plus pastel OD. The sides are so bright. When it's uh, when it's out of shed, I'll do a I'll do an update on another video when she gets out of shed just to show you really how bright it actually is. It's uh, it's one of one of the favorite snakes that I hatched this year just on how how clean it is for just a two gene combo. So that's a pastel orange dream 100% het puzzle. Here we move into what I think is just a gorgeous gorgeous animal. This is a pastel honey cypress 100% het puzzle. Really looking forward to seeing what Cypress does with Puzzle. We know it works really well in Clown. I can't wait to see what it does in Puzzle. I think you're going to get some really, really neat pattern manipulation. Puzzle's not really one to stripe out, and and uh, Cypress obviously is. So I'm wondering how that's going to how they're going to fight. Regardless, such a great animal to have in the rack. Uh, can you imagine mixing this with like a, oh, like a spot nose puzzle or something like that? I think you're going to get into some really, really cool stuff. So that's a, a, a pastel honey cypress, 100% hat puzzle. And I'll show you the difference between honey and just the normal pastel cypress. So here you have the normal pastel cypress, 100% hat puzzle, no honey in the mix. And honey is a blue-eyed leucistic complex. Uh, I've shown this off on some prior videos. Uh, both growing extremely well. This this boy is probably, oh, 600 gram range. Maybe get him into the rotation uh, later on in the year. See if we can hit a cypress puzzle this coming season. Like this this summer, hopefully. Maybe late summer. And then this is a female that's going to be, uh, this is going to be sticking around for a, quite a while. Really, really dig this snake. It's just super nice. And then there's the uh, the pastel cypress. Both hep puzzles. There's another phantom. 100% hep puzzle. But this one's also 100% hep lavender albino. And I think, uh, I think this will translate into a really, really cool... Um, a really cool puzzle lav because the the phantom i expect to work like i said earlier i expect to work exactly like a mojave and i think you're going to get crazy crazy pattern manipulation there so that is a uh this is a phantom double head puzzle lav here is an absolutely gorgeous gorgeous little animal just so pretty this is a pastel vanilla orange dream 100 percent hat puzzle look at the blushing you get in this that is going to work out really well in Puzzle. I think Puzzle's gonna thrive off this kind of blushing. And uh, one of the reasons it does so well with Pastel, I also think it's gonna do really well with like fire, yellow belly, spot nose, where you get that really intense flaming. I think you're gonna do really well with that as well. But uh, yeah, this is just a, uh, this is a Pastel Vanilla Orange Dream 100% Het Puzzle. Here we move on to a, to an absolute powerhouse female. This is a yellow belly spot nose double head puzzle clown. Look at the belly on these. Just so awesome. I can't wait to see these uh, translate over into like puzzle clown. Oh my goodness. Even just in puzzle it's going to be insane. But with clown in the mix, oh my god, I can't wait. So we're growing these girls up. We had a really nice clutch of, the, clutch of these. I'll show you another one in this clutch that's just stunning. 
Um, Puzzle and Clown together give definitely a funky het influence. That double het together is is most definitely not just a, you know, you can definitely see it. See the sides? See how, see how crazy those sides are? That's not typical in a, in a spot nose yellow belly. So, spot nose yellow belly, double het puzzle clown. Then we take the spot nose yellow belly and we add fire to it. So this is a spot nose yellow belly fire, double het puzzle clown. And I'm sure all of you guys have seen a spot nose yellow belly fire. They don't look like this. Look at the sides, just crazy how blown out it is. Uh, I originally thought this might have orange dream in it, but as it's growing, I don't, I don't think it does. Um, regardless, insanely powerful female. Spot nose, yellow belly, fire, double hat, puzzle clown. Here we move over to visual puzzles. And here we've got a pastel vanilla, 100%, or sorry, this is pastel vanilla puzzle, not hat. So this is a visual, that's sort of your puzzle pattern. That's the typical pattern that I'm seeing out of puzzles. Uh, I love how crazy it is. Just, there's no really rhyme or reason to the pattern. You get that really cool, uh, cool eye stripe there. Hopefully it'll focus for me here. So that's sort of your typical puzzle pattern. You get those nice, that nice side pattern going on. So there you have a pastel vanilla puzzle. Really looking forward to getting into the super vanilla stuff. I think we can really, really jack that yellow up. Uh, even if we get pastel out of it, like can you imagine like a, an orange dream super vanilla yellow belly puzzle oh my god it's just gonna get insane this stuff's about to go crazy so that's a pastel vanilla puzzle i know i showed this girl off recently and i'm just so happy that she's taken off uh she was a real slow start and now she's just pounding food i think she sort of just was like oh i'm a puzzle i realized it and she's just gone crazy for food but this is a spot nose puzzle and uh you know, look at that mustache. See if it'll focus on the... Anyway, she's got a cool, really cool little mustache there. Really aberrant patterns going on. Really crazy sides. Nice black. Just, just wild. Really like this spot nose puzzle stuff. And I can't wait to get this into Clown, get this into Desert Ghost, get this into just, just about anything you can think of. Uh, I'm really excited to do it. So that's just a spot nose puzzle. I'm going to grab one more snake. She's a big girl, so I'm going to grab her. She's breeding for us this year. And we're going to take a look at one more visual puzzle. Now here... Here we have a super pastel yellow belly banana puzzle. This girl's about 2,200 grams. She's been breeding for us. Really nice sized follicles. And she's been paired to a GHI 100% het puzzle. But as you can see... It really, you can really see the pattern through with the banana. Uh, I'm generally not a fan of banana, but, uh, but this girl was an exception. Love the sides. It's a very subtle combo, but uh, it's just, I find it really, really cool. She's just very pretty. Um, it's hard to describe. She's, she's got a really neat pattern to her. As you can see, she doesn't want to sit still for me, so... I'm going to put her back. She's, uh, she's building quite well, so I don't want to throw her off or anything. But that's a super, pa super pastel yellow belly banana puzzle. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Let me know what you guys want to see in puzzle, what projects you guys are working. If you're working the project, I know it's still very early on in the puzzle project, but there's lots and lots to be done. Let me know what you guys want to see. Maybe we can make it happen. Or just give me some ideas. What do you guys think of the puzzle project? What do you guys want to see? Uh, obviously, Desert Ghost seems to work well. Really, really excited to see what Clown does. Lavender seems to work. Hypo works. I mean, I, I think it's just going to work with a lot of stuff. You're going to have to tweak it a little bit to find that right combo. But I think once you do, we're, we're opening an entirely new set of doors. Anyways, guys, as always, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Do your thing. And we will see you guys soon.